Hello everybody, oh my god, we start with a blitz. This is the winner's final of Blitz Pit 10. In the booth with me <laughs> is Skuro Metzo. Hello. What an injustice to Crucifer's humans getting blitzed on to start the game after a... Uh, I believe it was... Oh no, maybe I'm mixing up games. Anyway, Crucifer <laughs> getting blitzed on by Lizards. You hate to see it. Hoily Boy with a huge start. And look at that shallow kick too. This is going to be an absolute disaster to start this one for Crucifer. Yeah, um, what a shame for the YouTube video. <laughs> this is basically going to start with a yeah. caged, a caged offense for, yeah. for, for Hoily Boy. Absolutely. And um, you know, Jim, can I make a small request here? Go on. Can you go back to just uh, streaming the game because I have no audio when you do it this oh, way? Oh God, right? Yeah. Okay, that's that's crucial. Sorry. I'd rather that because I, I can see chat and everything on my own. It also makes the, the screen way smaller for me. Thank you. Yeah. I just did it because I hadn't loaded the game up yet when I started streaming it. It wasn't really yeah. a conscious decision nope. to do it. Yeah. It's much more pleasant to watch on my end when you do it this way. It's fine, though. It's, it's no big deal. Anyway, folks, we're back at it. Uh, you've missed nothing except Crucifer's uh, unbeaten streak. <laughs> yeah. in this tournament probably coming to an end. Yeah. It's a, it's a brutal... But, hey, there's... Sorry, carry on. No, I was just going to say, there's a lot of Blood Bowl left to play, but it's against, you know, a very good Lizards team. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a lovely, that's a lovely uh, bounce for him. But, yeah, it, it's, it's brutal, it kinda, right? It Get, kind of is. Yeah. Getting Blitz on against Lizards is fucking horrible, right? Because against other teams, you can say, oh, you can set up against the Blitz. But against Lizards, they're so strong. To even hit the three guys they put on the line, it's so much work. That you, you've got to leave yourself yeah. exposed to a blitz, really. And then, obviously, if you want to blitz somebody as well, you've got to put three guys on the side, like he did here, to blitz somebody. So it's just, it's just fucking horrible having to set up. And, like, obviously, perfect defense for them as well is brutal as they just jamming all seven guys on the LOS. Just horrible. So, um, yeah, very disappointing for Cruz, obviously. Indeed it is. And, you know, he put so much time into the name of his team in this one that you really feel for him. Like, he, he was really, really, really uh, had his mind on this game when he made this human team. <laughs> Just kind of gently wafted his fingers over his keyboard to start this one. But we'll, like we said, you know, we'll see. There's a, there's a chance to clear these skinks and get the ball. Not, I won't use the word protected, but move slightly away from an instant touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's got his tackle blitz. And um and he can dodge out this guy probably. Yeah. He's got these two, but I mean it's it's really horrible, isn't it? Really horrible. Yeah, at least he at least he had a second player back deep with the with the thrower. So yeah. He's got a little bit to work with there. Yeah. And uh, thanks for the bit, Elb. Um, I don't know what you mean. I made this myself, so both Elb and J5 are totally wrong. But I, I, I created, I created the Blitz Pit logo. So there you go. Boom. I thought Nick did the lightning and everything. I, I did all of it. Oh okay. really? You did the lightning stuff? I thought Nick. Hmm. Um. No, uh, A Dev did the ball and the lightning, but that was after I had done the Blitz Pit lightning text. Oh, uh, okay. So okay. Like, I, I did this. I did this Blitz Pit thing, and then A Dev did the ball okay. and all the lightning for the, for the other screen. But but you stole the lightning graphic design from someone on the internet. No, I didn't know. Or did you draw it yourself? You drew it. You drew that lightning. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. I didn't know you had drawn that. Well, how'd you draw that? With with gimp. And like things. And... Oh, interesting. You did a good job on it. Thanks. It just looked. It looked. Uh, it looked generated in a way that um, I didn't think you would do artistically. Yeah, fair enough. I just assumed you typed in lightning bolts and then <laughs> saved it. <laughs> no, because then it'd be somebody's. Uh, then it'd be somebody's uh, like IP or trademark or whatever the fuck. Exactly. That's what. Mm. That's what I was cheekily trying to accuse you of, and I got shut down uh, pretty hard about it. Anyway, folks, it looks like Christopher might be recovering from this blitz in some semblance of a way. 
Gonna need a little bit of luck here, but if he can survive this turn, he might be able to stabilize. Yeah, he recovered very well, didn't he, with all of this? Impressive. Yeah, sure did. Still not looking great, though. His no. power isn't gonna help things. No. But, you know, he jammed in the Ogre there, he's got the Tackle there, and he's got the other Blitzer there. He's got things happening. <laughs> yeah, J5, yeah. And um. any graphic designer worth his salt is more likely to be able to remove a Shutterstock watermark than draw their own image. <laughs> <laughs> Me being one of them. <laughs> Very good at photoshopping out uh, watermarks and not so good at <laughs> drawing from scratch. <laughs> Um, and yeah, the, yeah, the team name from Crucifer is is awful, isn't it? That is genuinely awful. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> but there you go. And then on the other side, I believe we have a a reference of a, of a reference. Ready Lizard One, so I assume it's a Ready Player One, which is basically just a movie or a book that exists to uh, say, hey, remember this from the 80s? <laughs> and not have any other point or value to it. <laughs> right, he can switch to this side now, can't he? Even though it strands these two stun guys, which is horrible. Um, it lets you get this guy back in, doesn't it, and do stuff. This reminds me of world class back in the 1980s. Maybe blitz a skink on the way out. I don't know, it's tough. It's, re it's so tough against lizards. To be fair. Gimp, yeah, Gimp is the name of uh, of, of of a free Photoshop uh, software, Alley Rider. <laughs> yeah, not Skiro in a mask of a brush. I mean, I can understand the, uh, the mistake. But, uh... <sighs> World class, back in the 1980s. Name a Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Not blitzing a skink. Unbelievable. Reddit will will have his life for that. Oh, he got the pow he really needed there. Yeah. Basing uh, for the assist with the ball, but that could really help him out. Oh, huge removal. Instant apple here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, got to let a dog in. This is a bit dodgy, right? He's, yes, he's controlling these three skinks, but he's also getting put in his ass and then probably bit by a Saurus, which is uh, not the best use for a guard tackle guy. Weirdly, I still don't have audio from the game. <laughs> so weird, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, well. I'm just sitting here silently. I'm like, why is this so drab? It's probably maybe uh, maybe stop the stream and say again. Yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's not gonna work, right? I think it's because I started this. Yeah. I loaded up Blood Bowl two in like my monitor sound, and then I changed afterwards. So. I think that's what happened with the, the you know, the, when we did the wrestling, because I loaded the game in, in, uh, in gotcha. sound and changed it afterwards. Yeah, you guys are fine. It's on my end uh, in Discord. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here silently watching a fucking Lizards game. <laughs> <laughs> Quiz pit champ. Special place in hell. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. You can just watch it in client, can't you? I can you? just... I can, well, I can open the client, but if I open the client, I can't see chat, so I can open the client and then watch your stream. <laughs> Just to have some noise. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, like, isolating him on the Saurus is just huge, because then you, you, you just dominate him out of the match, and then you can pick up all yeah. these skinks and run away. I really like just sticking, like, you know, obviously that's what you've got to do. Okay, okay I, I don't like this so much. I, I like marking him out of the game of the Saurus. Because if your opponent's only got like one tackle or, or whatever, you can just stick a Saurus on him, and then because he's strength three, you can't do fuck all the Saurus, but he, he also can't hunt your skinks down. So. I would have kind of liked facing that, but I guess this gives another, another threat in his backfield, and he can just tag him with a skink. It's fair enough. Like I guess he is in a real dominant position now, so so he feels it more important to have this guy out the back. 
Maybe it can come through the centre. Like it's just hard, isn't it? It's so hard for Cruz. It's rock hard. Could blitz this skink and come back, maybe. I think it's. I think it's fair to say that if Cruz scores this half, it will be due to a uh, pretty, pretty overdone potato. So my cock. <laughs> a well baked potato, if you will. Yeah. And lizards are really good, aren't they? Yeah, they're so they're so good. But I mean, especially when they get a blitz and you can't do anything. Like Cruz is doing well to have recovered to this stage, really. Yeah. yeah liz lizards are dominating. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, Tim. Also, dwarves had one blitz pit twice, even though, even though it was marked as a, as a no. <laughs> <laughs> in the bl in the quiz pit, dwarves had won it twice, but never mind. Are you are you telling me that that competition was not, right? You know, by you know, like like by the book and uh, well thought out. No, yeah, it was PC's answer. So who the hell cares? And also, Timmy won by a thousand points anyway, so it's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really just fucking dominated you guys from start to finish. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ali Raider. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, was Scott, was the luck was the Luxembourg pub team playing like football against Scotland or something, or, or, was, yeah. or were they both on the same sport? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it, they're basically a pub team. Yeah, like you know, they have like Faroe Islands and Luxembourg and stuff, and they're just they're just all like you know part-timers but they play against full internationals and right. just get creamed like 14 right. and stuff <laughs> so we're gonna pretend that the scottish national team is good at football they're better than the they're better than luxembourg <laughs> i'm joking I, don't, I know anything like that <laughs> i know but that's that like they're terrible i mean i, I, I mean i seem to recall yeah, I seem to recall in the last decade England failing to beat the U.S. in a <laughs> in a yeah. World Cup group stage game, but you know that's neither here nor there. Yeah, and I think I think England uh, failed to beat like Luxembourg or somebody once. Like didn't even just like didn't even beat them. Never mind. Didn't put ten past them. I've got a feeling like <laughs> seven postmen and a milkman. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's basically it. Yeah, my key. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I, again, I root for the. I, I root for England in, in the World Cup generally. I, I was a little split in that one because that was actually, in, by U.S. standards, a pretty good U.S. soccer team. But uh... it wasn't Joe Hart. It wasn't Joe Hart, was it? It was fucking Robert Green. Everyone in England was saying, "Why isn't Joe Hart in goal?" And then they fucking he played green and green fucking dropped a. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because it. Yeah, Howler wasn't it? Wasn't that the call? It's Howler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Fuck off, Jim! They're both the same keeper. No, they're not. <laughs> Literally, everyone in England was saying, "Why isn't Hart in goal?" Yeah. Everyone in England thought they knew more than fucking Fabio Capello, the, one of the greatest managers of all time, paid millions and millions and millions to do his job, and they were all right. <laughs> because it was fucking my stupid favorite, not playing your best goalie, what the fuck? My favourite uh, English soccer player is uh, Frank Lampard, because that dude knows how to fucking skyball the ball on a free kick like a hundred feet over over the fucking goal with like great aplomb it's amazing and you're like oh he's got a real shot here i think he's gonna do it and he just fucking kicks it out of the goddamn arena every time it's quite entertaining yeah lampard uh is funnily enough wanger's favorite player he calls him calls him oh, he's league. not really my favorite player well, he he calls him Sunday League Lampard because he's like he's totally he's totally just like a Sunday League player, just as you say, just whacking it in. Like obviously he does score screamers. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't fail every time. And, uh, and yeah, I've amazing. never I don't think I've ever seen him score. <laughs> oh, I was wow. a big Michael Owen fan back in the back in the aughts. Oh yeah, back in the nineteen eighties. 
<laughs> yeah, still the top scorer midfielder. There you go. Yeah, he, he banged him in, didn't he? And yeah, he didn't miss every time. He and like so that, they, that's just well, you got to break a few right. eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, you can tell this game's going about, <laughs> about <laughs> as well as you'd expect with that blitz early on. I mean, actually, it's going a lot better for Crucifer than you'd yeah. have expected after seeing that blitz with that kick location. Yeah, he's, but, uh, he's keeping it alive. <laughs> oh, well, it's staying alive, this, this blitz. Was... <laughs> Got to up all that, hasn't he? 50-50, yep. yep, gets it. Oof. Too important, isn't Boy. it? Blitzer with guard, you got to go for Yeah, that. absolutely. Rough. Rough cars. Soros goes back on two guys. Also a footballer, two guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, j -Pad. You do feel like it's only a matter of time before the lizard man, you know, pressure. <laughs> yeah. For, I tell you what as well, Letizia always scored wonder goals against, against Newcastle. It always annoyed me at the time. Sure, your dad would be proud to hear that. <laughs> oh boy! I mean, this is uh, all that Crucifer's got left is a uh, run into the other half and hope for the fucking best. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just rough, isn't it? Because like they base you and then they just keep punching you, and yeah. and you can't really do anything. Like, like he didn't get. At least if you get the LOS, you get like some breathing space. But obviously with a blitz, he was just under the cosh. Instantly, it's just horrible. What does he do now? This looks grim as fuck. <laughs> I, again, I, I think I, I think I already called this one out. You run into the other half and start praying. Yeah. You can base. You can leave these two based. Can't he? So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. You could geofy and blitz him, I guess. Yeah. Alternatively, he could just kill the skinks. Yeah. I hear that is the way to get the job done in this game. That's what Reddit says. <laughs> Maybe he blitzes the this source. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. Gets the power as well, beautiful. And then you can then you can base up this uh, this Saurus and just potato. Yep. It's kind of horrible, isn't it? It's so horrible. <laughs> There's a free Saurus over on the left, though. Yeah, yep, yeah, he's free as well. Oh, is he going to pass to the catcher? You better do it quick. Yeah, it looks like he might be. Oh, no, no, he's just going to sit there. To tag that one. He's real only wants yeah. to tag him with him. There you go. So, yeah, that's that. Yeah, good. he's got that. All right. Everyone's tagged. This is only one skink that can react, huh? Mm. No, no, there's two, there's two. There's two, and he's also, he could, he could, he could potentially free the Crocs to Blitz. Uh, Rick was beat the first game, but then he won, oh, he won a match in the loser's bracket before um, being eliminated. Gotta let it die again. But, you know. Like, it's winning a game is is a success really with the ogres, isn't it? Oh. 
So yeah, well, everyone everyone was based, one of them's been stunned, so he can't be controlled <coughs> next turn. <laughs> no, 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 Ali, you've missed that. Uh, tending to my mushroom patch is taking a shit. <laughs> and no, uh, I was letting the dog in because it was outside and it's like a hundred fucking degrees out. Oh, he's, he's just going for the skink. Uh, he's going for the skink bash. Yeah. The old skink. He's going for the 2D skink. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Doesn't get him. Gets him. Oh, gets him on the reroll. Gets the ball. And uh, <laughs> I think that's Hoily Boy scoring. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, game opening short kick blitz by the Lizards, Tom. Uh, Christopher did. <laughs> what he fucking could to recover with it, but uh, that Skink Blitz has pretty much ended his hopes and dreams here. Well, it's not that bad, is it? 55%? 5 plus dodging? Oh, no, it's a 6 plus dodging. No, it's a 5 plus dodging. 5 plus dodging, and then serve. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, really. And then he might get the 1 in 3 scatter this way. That's pretty yeah. good. And even if it goes here, it's not terrible. I don't think I've ever seen anyone make a 5-plus dodge, though, so <laughs> I think he's fucked. It happens. And, I mean, he's, he's going to go for it. There's no other players uh, that he's got frenzy. I don't think he, it happens. He has to go. He has to do it. I mean, he definitely has to try it, but it, um, the, I don't think the game is coded to allow a 5-plus dodge <laughs> or the reroll to work. <laughs> I, see Liz I see fucking Soros do it all the time. The assholes. <laughs> I wouldn't have brought him back. No, I'd want him to react. Oh, he's just gonna blitz the he's just gonna blitz the Saurus. Don't like this. He would have got the five plus just quietly. Yeah, he would have. He totally would have. <laughs> oh god, he's doing a dodge afterwards. I don't like this. I really don't. Like it. I think this is not mm, gonna be enough. Yeah. It's a stunty. <laughs> it can just run by you if it wants to. If it wants to, yeah. It can also just like he's got three turns left, so he can just he can just get yeah, in a cage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he really needed to make that five plus dodge there. Yeah, I, I think agree. So. Yeah, it's just a there's just a huge hole for the cage, isn't there? And they're so fast. Not being uh, goblins, they can just run all the way around. Yeah. It's looking bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you can get there, can you? Yep. Disgusterous. Like, it, it's so crazy, isn't it? They're so fast that they can just go from there to all the way over like that. Horrible. I mean they don't, but I know which one. I know which team I'd rather have bring Rook do. <laughs> <laughs> like the grab on the Black Oaks is cool, and the brawl is cool. But yeah, lizards are just unfair. does Chris do? I don't think he's getting what anything. What the hell do any of us do right now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like he's not he's not going to get anything like the chance he had there, is he? That was the problem. As much as you don't want to no. do a five plus dodge, like it is horrible. And that's the thing. It's like, is that like the five plus dodge was? You know, I was joking. You know, that's <laughs> not gonna happen probably. But you, you, if it does, you have a chance to surf the ball. You know, and a skink. You know, like the, all of the payoffs to it are good. He's definitely going to have to make a five plus dodge at some point now, yeah. and probably with nowhere near the, uh, you know, the success um, position that he would have been in. So. Yep. 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 Mm. Is he going to do it right now? I wonder. I don't know. I might just hit the skink on the way and then see if the dive to the turn eight. Mm. Got to turn four. Well done, well done throwing. <laughs> he's going to hit the Saurus again. No, he's dodging in. Oh, he's in the Saurus, yeah. Okay. Face the ball. And like, I don't know, hoping for a one in nine fail. Or like, you know, just a two DB fail just seems worse to me. Than, than, you know, proactively going for the 55%. But hey, it's not easy, is it? So. No, it's not. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah, yeah, lizards, lizards will be, uh, will be really good in, in Blood Bowl 2020. Um, I don't think. I'd be taking any uh, chameleon skinks, to be honest. My gun the ball's pretty decent. Still. Tell you what, did you like my Eldril Sidewinder answer on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the quiz? I don't remember that one, actually. Oh, that's a shame. It was, that, it was the highlight of the quiz for me. What was the quote? What was the question? Really? I thought the highlight of the quiz was you getting, uh, <laughs> the two-time winner of the SFL question correct. <laughs> you would. Um... Elliot's microphone cut out when he asked which which star player has block. Um, and so like well, that's what we heard. Which star player has block? Name a star player with block. So um, so PC said Deep Root Strong Branch because like obviously you've got a million star players with block. So he goes that and then it's like oh that's yeah. that's actually wrong because and then Elliot Cadenix uh, like you might cut out there uh, Elliot so. You'll have to answer the question and like, get the question right this time. So as he was saying, the question, like, which star player, I buzzed in and said, Eldril Sidewinder, because <laughs> it had to be pass block, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Not that I was desperately tryharding on a pointless quiz, of course. <laughs> no, no, certainly not something you would have been caught doing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Doesn't, oh, no, doesn't make the five plus. And uh, there you go. Yeah. Crucifer banged on. Oily Boy turns him over and is going to score here. Yeah. It could technically, it could technically have been multi-block, multiple block, and then you could have had the uh, stabber, isn't it, whatever he's called. Um, but there wasn't enough time Oop. for Avelio to have said it. Um, it was on the blitz pitch yeah. on backyard Oop. Dodo. Yeah. Uh, looking over at the other game that's happening right now, it looks like K Fogged was successful in keeping DM Lord out in the first half on his offense. So now K Fogged has the ball on turn nine, and uh, eight eight turns to glory for him. Mm. On the ball is pass block and kickoff return. 
So it's all right. Like it's a, it's a decent skill. Like basically, it's kickoff return, and plus you get a pass block for free. Um, like because obviously the pass block is the shit part that you, you would never ever like, you would never take yeah. ever. So it's like you get a pass block for free when you take it. Um, not because they don't exist in, in Blood Bowl 3 or Blood Bowl 2020 and never will. So, <laughs> Although they are NAF approved, which makes absolutely zero difference, but there you go. I mean, you never know, though, because with, uh, with you know, um, Total War 3 coming out with Kislev in it, GW might say, ah, you know what? We 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 don't give a shit about the the Slan team anymore. You know, so we might as well just make a Kiss Love Blood Bowl team. Well, you know, it's a hundred dollar box set that someone might buy. Well, I haven't I haven't seen the proof, but it's my understanding that um that there was a legal dispute around Slan the Slan rules with Games Workshop. So I think it's probably uh, not. Not about the copyright of them, but I think by proving that Gallac made them, he should have got paid for them or whatever, you know? Because um, they didn't pay the Blood Bowl Rules Commission, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, like, because you can't copyright rules, can you? So it, it can't be copyright. And, and I did hear that it was settled out of court, so it's not as if it was, like, ruled against them, but um, supposedly there was some kind of out of court settlement between GW and Gallac Starscraper, so that's why we'll never see Slam. Um, or corn ah. as they are in Blood Bowl one and two, but that could be bullshit, right? Because it's just it's just some dudes on the internet. So you know, yeah. take it with a pinch of salt. But there you go. And people in this uh, environment absolutely love to uh, inflate their importance to game development. Yeah. <laughs> so. And uh, on the ball is not really Peyton Manning can return kicks and cover Jerry Rice, is it? It's so that uh, Deion Sanders can, but then he's like, yeah, he's a he's a passer. Like Deion Sanders could, couldn't he? But yeah, now Tom Brady does it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a Devin <sighs> Hester couldn't cover a fucking couldn't <laughs> couldn't. What, cover. So, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Devin Hester couldn't cover like a base court, could he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of something that he couldn't cover. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't very good when he was in Hester. He wasn't very good at, at covering. He was like orange layer paint. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was a hell of a kick returner, obviously. He was an in, unbelievable kick returner, wasn't he? Where was Neon Dion was a shutdown corner and an incredible return. He was a defensive back. This will do, but then he did be, he did he did turn into a wide receiver later, that's true. But he started as a DB, didn't he? That's why he had like his number was whatever it was. <laughs> I can't remember. Um Ammon Bowler. Devin Hester really did nerf. Yeah, he was. I mean, he did get nerfed, didn't he? They changed. They changed the rules for uh, kickoffs. Um. Yeah, yeah. Patrick Peterson, pretty good. Yeah. Hello, Flicky Flack. Hello, Flicky Flack. <laughs> so yeah, so he's a weird player, right? It's a weird flick, making a flick, passing. Flick, because it's... Flick. <laughs> it is weird being a passing skill, but on the other hand, they would just roll a double, right? It's it's something that it's something that you you kick off return. Like it's weird because your kick off return it is your is your quarterback in the board, isn't it? Basically, an entire game yeah, of football it's, um... is a kick off return. In fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, really the uh, Blood Bowl rule set is uh, a bunch of rugby fans went and watched American football, got really drunk, and were like, "This is how football's played." 
<laughs> Not really. They just they won. They, they, they knew how they knew how football was played. They they had rules for downs and everything. But um, the problem is, of course, it was just they just didn't make it so that passing was worthwhile. Like ever. Really. Back, back. What well, they had? They had rules for like uh, you know, you know, four downs and everything. They they had rules for that in second edition. I, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. No, no. You what? You probably you probably won't because that was like that was a long time ago. Second ed, and it's like nothing like this. Um. Yeah. But, but they, they did have rules for downs and stuff in in the Blood Bowl Companion. That was. Um, and like obviously the fluff of it is like it's like an NFL fluff isn't it like with Nuffle and everything like you know all the fluff is, is yeah well, it was the official like NAF rules wasn't it for in second day yeah, and it came out later yeah yeah well that, that they discovered that first to three touchdowns was was kind of stupid because you would just kill everybody with dwarves and then walk it in afterwards so <laughs> yep yep which was by design you gotta believe like they loved the idea of it until they had to play and we're like oh this is fucking stupid <laughs> yeah oh croxagor just got also cast. a croxagor just got cast yeah we're really mm. uh <laughs> we're really committed to this one yeah <laughs> Well, if Christopher can pull a miracle out of his ass and get this to overtime, that might matter. Yeah. Was it yeah. Kaz or just KO'd? Kaz for the Crocs and KO for the Saurus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, is this throw dead? This throw is dead. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Ski Lizard men have got the bullshit of skinks as well. Like, it's so fucking stupid that they've got this wall of strength and guard sometimes. And then they've also got skink bullshit, which, you know, the uh, the crappy yep. Black Orcs will not get goblin bullshit. Goblin bullshit is, <laughs> is nowhere near the same level as skink bullshit. So yeah, it was it was kind of alternate rules, right? But they brought out loads of like most of the rules in Second Ed were alternate because they uh, they all came out in the Star Players rulebook and the uh, companion. That's where a lot of the rules came out. But it was they, you know it was all right. By the time you had all of the rules, it was like uh, it was just a chore to play the game with like how many how many millions of rules. But it did make werewolves the best and not. Not dwarves, so that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like they are adding the lizard team though relatively soon, isn't it? As someone said, wood elves, lizards, halflings, goblins, and underworld. And yeah, unfortunately for Cruz, this for... is this is two 0 isn't it? Unless he makes a five plus dodge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just not gonna try it again, I guess. I think he'll try it this time. He's got to. No, he won't. Nope. He had to try it. <laughs> like he just had to, didn't he? He had to try the five plus dodge. <laughs> like he's just gonna get scored on here. He's just gonna yeah. get scored on here. Yeah. And like, okay, you know, humans aren't the slowest team. He might not even get scored on. You might not need to get scored on here. Mm. Uh, that that helps a little bit. Yeah, humans. <laughs> you know, humans not the slowest team on the planet. Yeah. But you don't want to have to come back down two nil. No, exactly. I mean, everything versus lizards is a bad matchup, really. Even the things yeah. that have good matchups again, I, math isn't that good. I think. I think. A huge part of this game was just a short kick blitz. Yeah. That Christopher did well to not be scored on instantly, but yeah. he just couldn't get anything recovered enough to actually score. Yeah. And he really needed to do that 5-plus last, last half. Yeah. No, dwarves are not good against us, it's no, because they're... I mean, it depends, right? If, if the dwarf team has 10 guard... And the, and the list man team doesn't have any, <laughs> then it, then it's then they've got more of a chance. But if they're like equally developed, um, they're not really because 
Well, I think it can be, you know, it depends on exactly what level TV, but in general, the, the lizards are just so, so fast. I'd rather just have elves against, like, elves are the only teams that I would want to play against the uh, lizards, really. Yeah, and even that then isn't... you're like, okay, I know I'm not getting any blocks off, so... <laughs> And, and even then, even even elves like wood elves against against lizards have an insane record in in uh, in math. But that's because it's mostly bad lizard man cultures and mostly bad wood elf cultures. Like it's a lot closer than the NAF win rates would have you believe. <laughs> that's true, Dimmy. Fair enough. Undead, yeah, undead, undead and woodies, yeah. I mean, they're the two best teams, aren't they, in that style? But generally, everyone's pretty bad off against lizards. Like, everyone can beat lizards, because everyone can just randomly remove skinks on every hit, sometimes. Like, there are the, those games happen, don't they? And everyone can make, like, early removasaurus, you know? Yeah. Or two, or three, like, that can always happen. So, like, they're, they're super, super strong, but they are a bit fragile as well. Like, they've got no expendable players at all, have they? And yeah, you know, like obviously undead with mummies have got more chance of those random removals and stuff. Kemri versus lizards. I think people no nobody wants to play lizards though, do they? <laughs> like nobody wants to play against lizards. <laughs> Probably everybody would rather play, you know, nearly any other team except lizards, really. There's very, like, if you're undead, you'd probably want rather play every other team, except, like, maybe woodies. And, like, if you're woodies, it's not as bad as, as other teams do fair, but, you know, like, they're, they're horrible, no, no, fucking horrible. Lizards scale better. Oh, ducky. Oh, Clever, God. clever ducky. I don't think he did it on purpose. No, but it's, <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Yep. Well, here we go. Basically, gotta get that two turn. Yeah, scale better, scale better, Ducky. Scale better. Scale. Yeah. Lizards have scales. Scale better. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, just tagging some guys here and blitzing here. Like, he should be able to get the skull. Well, I say that. He's got to re-roll this, hasn't he? Yeah, Maybe he again. has to re-roll it. Because otherwise the, the rest of the Sauros are going to come in and, and fuck him up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Push. We get a pow here, just for... No. <laughs> no love. You can still cage up, though. Sort of. You can still potato up, you mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, dear. I think he's going to lose the ball to Skinks again. <laughs> yeah, he might do. I mean, this is awful. <laughs> yep. This is fucking awful. Makes his cut. Gets there. Can you get away from that source on the right that's unmarked? Yeah. Yeah, if he stands here. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. He stays in the. Oh, tape. he's not going up. Yeah, because yeah, this guy couldn't get to there, so he could have gone to here. He could have run out to this. This place, but uh, okay, that's okay. Uh, there's a chain. There's a pretty. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong team. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, the ogre can just chain. The ogre can block the human lineman and chain the Zorus forward. <laughs> oh, he can. He can do the chain. Just like he can do the chain. A fucking traitor. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. just gets. He gets this skink in, blocks the ogre into him, into him, into him. He blocks him, and then he blitzes with this guy. Okay, 
okay, no, he's just he's not going to bother with that. I quite like that. Neither of these coaches really seem to want to just take the risk for the hit. Mm. Like, they're just okay to kind of sit back. I guess it was a 1D, but I would have tried it. They just threw one there happily. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry, that wasn't me yawning desperately here. <laughs> it's all right. I didn't follow suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, skull! It blitzed the skinks. Loving that Reddit advice. Now he gets to smash one, blitz the Saurus, and skull. Ooh. Yep. Well, you know. Uh, Justice Blitz for uh, Christopher could maybe uh, make the last uh, quarter of this game bearable. Yeah, I mean, even more interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you were right. Bearable is, the... <laughs> is what we're looking for. And nothing against either of these coaches. There's not much you can really be done here, you know? Yeah. Okay, he's got it. And he's got the, uh, the frenzy my e blow hit. At least uh, this catcher has a nice little cheering section to root him on as he runs to the end. So. Yeah. All these lizards like, you got it. You're still in this game. Enjoy. Yeah, I think, I, you know, I wouldn't have hated taking the old game. It's only punished one in 36 times, and it's a mighty blow hit on the Saurus. So, yeah, I think I think that was probably a good yeah. chance for him. In that a Saurus isn't a skink, I don't really see that it will affect the uh, outcome of the game in any way, but it's always fun to see the ogre throw a hit. Because <laughs> you really you just gotta hit the skinks. <laughs> I mean, it could have had a big impact, though, right? If that's a KO, it doesn't come back. And then he's only yep. got eight players. No, and no, of course. Saurus. But yeah, it was unlikely. It was. It really is unlikely to do anything with a Saurus, but I don't know. I think you'd probably go for it. I don't think Christopher has done anything wrong as a human coach, really, other than maybe not taking a risky five-plus dodge in. But I don't think his experience with humans would have dissuaded him from that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's just his, all of his CCL experience, because <laughs> is what has undone him, because he's really good in CCL isn't he he's really good at qualifying every season and and getting a really good win rate in CCL and part of that is beating very bad players very consistently so I think Christopher does play remarkably yeah. conservatively a lot of the time he won't go for the like you know like not that you would like not that anyone would go for that five plus in CCL but I think that kind of mentality of like which is kind of stupid to say because he does 76 percent in the playoffs as well but still I think do you know what I mean? Like he's he's normally super 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 conservative, and maybe he just shouldn't have been yeah. there. But who knows? Yeah, I said that as well, didn't he? But he's always got the best. He's always got the better team in Chalice, hasn't he? Like he always has the better team in Chalice. I can't remember ever looking at a matchup that that Cruz was in in Chalice and thinking he's got the worst team here. <laughs> so. Yeah, speaking it's French, French Donkey, Donkey Dragon. Dragon. Fait la force, comme on dit. Allez, Saurus, oh, there's a Kaz. That could have been that could have been the Saurus look! That could have been the that could have been the Ogre hitting the Saurus four sixes. Kaz been. No, yeah, he probably doesn't have the better team in the next one. And I just said I can't remember it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that he's never not had the better team. But, like, he usually has the better team in Chalice. Which is to not diminish his amazing record and everything, you know. Like, in many ways, I think the qualifying relentlessly with, with Chalks is more impressive 
than his record in the chalice. Like the fact that he always qualifies and he pretty much always has the best team is, is just amazing, isn't it? Like there's never a thought of him not qualifying. You know he's going to be top chops every single time. Right. I mean, a lot of that is he's willing to grind. Yeah, but he's still that's still impressive but, in itself. Yeah. <laughs> Just no, yeah, absolutely, on, absolutely. <laughs> I I can't I can't play more than ten games in a season. I just can't do it. Yeah. So like I get it. <laughs> like that's yeah. impressive, but yeah. Yes, Timmy. Yeah, as you can see, Crucifer not as good at Blood Bowl as uh, as Space Cadet. <laughs> 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 Confirmed. <laughs> and like he's won Blitzbit as well, like it's not It's not that uh It's not that I think he plays too conservatively or anything. I just think <laughs> Chunter. <laughs> You're right. That's a, that is a big a big boost that Crucifer has other other over other top coaches in Blood Bowl is that he does know how to win the games that he's supposed to win. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. You know, I, I thought it was remarkable how conservative he was being in one game that I watched. You know, just random, just a random stream. And like, I would have totally gone for like the desperation move, and he didn't. He just kept being conservative, and then eventually it paid off because his opponent did something stupid. And like, Elliot's very similar, isn't he? Elliot will often, often like, you know, just keep himself in the game, and then eventually his opponent will do something, fucking derp out, and give him something. Whereas I think I'm not going to get anything yeah. else. I'll go for this. You know, maybe I'm too hasty to do that. I kind of like just putting all these three in, right? Making it a bit harder for Chris. Maybe you run out of time. Yeah, it looks like you might have, because I don't think you would have wanted those guys way over on the left there, would he? No, it I seems mean, I guess weird the lizards can cut back that way, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It seems pretty easy for the lizards to advance forward here. Oh, wow. Yeah, Orc, uh, throw teammate effort. Or k -Fog will eliminate DM Lord. Boy, howdy. Oh, wait, is that the winners? or No, that's, yeah. That's the yeah, losers. That's losers bracket. That's the okay, losers yeah. bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could we be looking at Crucifer k -Fog? That would be a hell of a game. It would, wouldn't it? It's sure looking like it, but I mean, he might have a chance here. Oh, there's the fail pickle. Got to re-roll it because obviously he's too Oh, ahead. baby. Gets it. Yep, he gets it. Cages it. Now surely, surely Chris has got to go balls to the walls here. Yep. It's kind. It is a true double elimination bracket. The only bad thing is, if if the guy who's won every game loses the final, he's just fucked. <laughs> that's the only. That's the only bad thing. But apart from that, it's on. It's on. Uh, it's on. You know, challenge as a double elimination bracket. Um, and you can see it there. Oh. One and nine's the pickup. DM Lord is eliminated. No oh, rip, rip. Well, not eliminated. No, yeah, he is there. Losers, yeah, yeah, he's eliminated. Yeah, he DM Lord is eliminated now. Yep. So it's K Fog versus so the loser. K Fog. Yep, awaiting the loser. And right now, it's looking desperate for Crucifer here. Wasn't Still has a shot, all Could things considered. Restless. What can bone I do head, though, isn't it? That, that yeah. Olga was going to block him, push him to there, free up two players, occupy two with one character. That was such a horrible bonehead. 
Hello, little wrestlers. Which means he has to do oh. the one day, use his last reroll, and yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. That's pretty much the game. Not over, over, but it's over. <laughs> yep, yep, and that even lets him free up two, two Saurus reliably, right? You can three D him, and then get two Saurus free down here. Yeah. Brutal. No, but then you didn't get the power. You didn't, put, you didn't get the power. So. <sighs> oh wow, dominating by Chris. But again, he's pr that's probably mostly been Chos versus Zons, hasn't it? <laughs> 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 Like that's the thing. It's it's amazing when like I couldn't. Yeah, believe dog. It. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. Like uh, when when Rick was the only person to ever beat Cruz with goblins, I thought, wow, that's crazy. But then it's like, oh, he's always got he's always got chaffs, hasn't he? So it's not that surprising if you only play chaffs and pro elves. <laughs> it's pretty hard for goblins to beat. You. Okay, so not pushing through there. He doesn't have to, does he? <laughs> I agree, Purple Chest. I do agree. <laughs> I'd say the third best. <laughs> oh, well, fuck you, Jim. Well, you and me are first. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, but then there's this PC's really good, isn't it? Okay. No, alright. Yeah, yeah that's my point. Yeah, yeah alright. <laughs> oh, right, it, it's like me and PC is just like you cut the chaff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh wait. I guess there's no way for me to continue this conversation without insulting you. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 yeah, throw it, and PC. Yeah, oh god, yeah, me and PC. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, screw on PC. Let's let's just agree that screw on PC are the best. <laughs> All right. Well, Christopher, um, I think it's your time, buddy. <laughs> if ever you're gonna five plus, it's gotta be now. Yep. You got that tackler right there. He's waiting for glory. Here it comes. There it goes. <laughs> oh dear. And now all he has to do is worry about the two catches that are in scoring range. Bangs one down. I guess just to get away from the other one. Throwing his cabbage head, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, uh, buck up because you've got uh, Rick Reckless uh, who <laughs> is going to have to carry you through a final, I think. Yes, so, myself um, and Rick Reckless, the Blood best commentary team in all of Blood Bowl. Well, that's <laughs> absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to do that. Oh, Jimmy and Fash. Ugh. Fucking Fash. Scorpion. 
And there you go, folks. Well, I'm going to jump out quick. You can say your goodbyes because I got another game to do in a minute. And uh, thanks for having me. Okay, good luck with that, Skiro. Thank you very much for joining us on cons. Congratulations to Dion Lord. Commiserations to Crucifer. Crucifer will have a last chance. Crucifer will be in the last chance final, which will be commented on by Skiro Metal and Purple Chest on the Blitz Pit channel. Um, so there you go. And then I'll be doing the final with Rick, also on the Blitz Pit channel. So there you go. Um, glorious. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.